It may be love or it may be a scam. Here's why you should never give out your phone number to someone you've met on a dating app. I'm Crypto Cyber Guy, and I have all the latest scams, tech news, and quick tips over at cyberguy.com. Just sign up for my free newsletter. Online dating can sometimes lead to love, and it can sometimes lead to uh, talking to a lot of weirdos on the internet. However, a weirdo is a lot better than a scammer. We've received an email from one of our Cyber Guy Report subscribers who said they were having a typical conversation on Tinder before they were asked to share their number and move the conversation over to WhatsApp. There are a number of red flags to look out for when online dating, and one of these major ones is when you're rushed into giving away your phone number. A record $1.3 billion was lost last year in America alone to romance scams, so be sure you're safe online by following our dating tips. Here are a few reasons why giving out your number can lead to trouble. The first is you could become a target of texting scams. While you may think that you're familiar with the text scams that are out there, you may not be associating the possibility of falling victim to one of the potential suitors you've met online. Plus, they may be playing a long con. And if they have your phone number, they may eventually send fake texts that trick you into providing some sensitive information. Scammers are just looking for real people to trick, which is why they've resorted to obtaining them via methods like making fake online dating profiles. Next, there are two-factor authentication scams. Many of us have set up two-factor authentication on our accounts, whether it be social media banking or another account. This means you have a backup method of protection set up, so if someone tries to log in to one of your accounts, you'll receive a text message or an email. While normally your guard may be up, but a potential romantic suitor may be able to use your phone number and trick you into handing over a code, thus handing over your account. If you ever receive a login code when you weren't logging in to an account yourself, do not give that code to anyone else. If you suspect someone is trying to access one of your accounts, disengage with whomever you gave your phone number to and change the password for the account they attempted to log into. Finally, an extreme scam is a SIM card swapping scam. A hacker will buy a new burner phone and put a SIM card into it. Using your phone number, they will contact your phone carrier and explain that they lost their SIM card and need a new one. Then they will give your phone number and other personal details they've gathered from you during your conversation to prove their identity. To avoid being a victim of a SIM card swap, don't give out too many personal identifying details to the person you're talking to. It's also a good idea to make sure all your social media accounts are set to private and you don't allow anyone access to them too early. Scammers are going to try to learn personal information about you based on the posts you've made available. If they're successful, they may be able to get your phone number transferred to their SIM card and phone, meaning they just took over access to your entire phone number. This could, of course, lead them to being more able to hack more accounts since any two-factor authentication codes will go straight to them. My tips to avoid any of these romance scams from happening to you. First, don't give out your real phone number. If you do want to take that next step of moving the conversation off the app, create a second number for free to chat with potential suitors. Next, use identity theft protection. If for some reason you do mistakenly give away personal info or the person you're chatting with turns out to be a scammer, you want to be using a program that can check if any accounts are opened with your name or information. My top identity theft software picks are at cyberguy.com slash identity theft. Finally, use antivirus software if you're using any dating apps or websites. I mean, right now at this point, without using antivirus protection on your devices, it's like driving around in your car knowing you're going to have an accident, but you decide not to put your seatbelt on. See my expert reviews of the best antivirus protection for all your devices at cyberguy.com slash lockupyourtech. And while you're there, you can sign up for my free newsletter.